Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of September the 12th through to the 18th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aries. First up, we have the Two of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Three of Wands upright. Next, we have the Eight of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Six of Swords upright, followed then by the Ten of Wands. All of your cards are in the upright position. Looks like, Aries, you're starting a plan this week. So we've got the Two of Wands in the upright position. This is about one foot in the past, one foot in the future, ready to move forward with... Um, whatever it is you're planning, this is just a general read, so a lot of you could be planning on taking the next step in a significant relationship, if you're just building a relationship right now. Others of you could be looking at taking the next step in your career, or next step in your home life, whatever the situation may be. You know, this is sometimes known as the decision card. But, you know, do I go this way? Do I go that way? I see the Two of Wands more of, yes, it is kind of a decision, but we're more in a state of flux in this moment. It's where we're trying to figure out. It's that awkward period between where we are and where we're going. But if you notice, the uh, character in this card is focused in looking at a globe focused in on where they're going whether it happens to be a move a major move for some of you it could be thinking about moving across the country you could be thinking about moving to a new country what have you or it could just be you know moving from one neighborhood to the next others of you it could be like i said about a long-term plan a career you could be building something maybe your own business what have you Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Three of Wands. This is the natural progression. We go from the Ace of Wands to the Two of Wands, and now we move on to the Three of Wands. It looks like you're making strides quickly, Aries. Not surprising, Aries, once you focus on something, you do generally uh, progress quickly because you're the doers. You're the ones with the with the plan and you like to put plan a into action and you don't stop until you start seeing progress. So this is what it looks like is happening this week. Three of Wands is all about trying to get to the Four of Wands where we have arrived. So you're moving towards something. You're a mover and a shaker. You're trying to get things going and it looks like there's some kind of momentum going on here and it's picking up speed this week. Next card you have is the Eight of Pentacles in the upright position. Well, this is a card that is the, the Worker B card. So it looks like this is where you're putting your focus. For some of you, this is your career, or this could be your investment, such as your home, or um, if you have some type of, perhaps, um, you know, you deal with the stock market or things like that. It could be that you're really, really focusing in on your investments at this time. For others of you, you're just, you know, nose to the grindstone, you're getting moving in the direction you're willing to put in the work Aries generally is when they make a plan they will work tirelessly towards uh, bringing progression and quick progression Aries likes speed Aries likes uh, movement uh, does not like stagnation in any way so Aries you're willing to put in the work this week to get things moving in a certain direction I feel that you've got some momentum going here and you just want to keep it moving in a certain direction now towards the end of the week we see the um, the the six of swords here Depicting that, yes, yeah, some of you could literally be moving. Perhaps that's what's going on here. You could be moving. This is a card that depicts that. It's an energy of movement, like physical movement, actually moving, maybe going on vacation. Could be an extended vacation for some of you. For others of you, it could be you're literally moving, like I said, you know, across the country to another country moving to another state what have you but you're on the move so some of you that is definitely what's going on for others of you you know you're caught between the past and the future but you're mostly focused on the future it could be that some of you are deciding to move forward with this plan and leaving behind emotional baggage because sometimes this energy can represent moving away from 
emotional difficulties of the past. This is like literally moving across to smoother waters where things become easier, things become better. So some of you are making a choice, a conscious choice to move on to smoother waters. You don't want to be caught up in the murky waters anymore. You have work to do. You know, you're busy, you're trying to build something, you're trying to move towards something. So you're too busy for that. So it, it sort of fits, it makes sense either way, right? And the last card you have is the Ten of Wands in the upright position. Well, the Ten of Wands can represent struggle, but remember it's a ten, so this represents the end of the struggle. For some of you who are physically moving, it could be that, you know, this card often comes up when people are in the midst of a physical move because it is tireless. It's exhausting. Like, look at this um, character in the card. Does he not look like he's carrying multiple boxes and suitcases and things that could be straining his back? <laughs> could be the case for some of you for others of you this project that you're working on or working towards you could find towards the end of the week it becomes a little bit overwhelming or whatever it is you're trying to close out could become like the ten of wands this could be like oh wow you know in order to do this to do what i'm doing I'm going to have to, you know, do double duty for some of you. Could be trying to close out something while starting something else. And it could be very taxing. But like I said, tens represent ending. So this could be the end of the struggle for you, Aries. So although I'm not going to lie here, it does look like whatever you're putting into plan, into action, it does look like you you could be sort of painting yourself into a corner in a sense where you are now a little bit overwhelmed with the amount of things you have to do. But remember the tens representing endings, which means the burden that you are carrying is going to be coming to an end. So just, it's good to know so that we can prepare ourselves to, um, you know, perhaps uh, elicit some help from other people towards the end of the week if uh, you're, you find that you are carrying an oppressive load or really heavy load. If that's the case, then try to bring in some people to aid you and help you. But either way, it looks like the struggle will be coming to an end by week's end. But you're you have to put in the effort and I see right here in this reading you're absolutely doing that you're willing to do it you want to move away from things that caused you difficulty in the past and astrologically speaking this is a perfect time to do so as you are getting ready in December it's only a few months away to leave the final descent behind and to move forward with your plans. So this could be representing even Aries that last little bit of push that you need to do before leaving because this is the fall season. So before leaving your final descent officially and moving on, this could be the last push. But you're you're getting out of the woods, you're very determined, you're going to be working very hard towards it. So Hang in there, my Aries. You're almost at the finish line. It's funny because I always say that with the Three of Wands. Uh, you're almost um, at the summit. And you guys, astrologically speaking anyway, really are almost at the summit. So I really want to thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic week, my Aries. And um, yeah, I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Bye-bye for now.